Right, so this is the one we got called for the other day. He was pretty high out of the water. Going to check on him now, but still looks like he's stuck a little. I'm gonna run aground here in a second. Let me see. Where's that anchor at? Yeah, yeah, pull it up. Yeah, you ride a ball to line right now. Alright. You have to get that on the way out, I guess. The anchor? Yeah. Alright, hold on. Alright. Here, put this on this cleat there. You can just go over the top. You don't have to go through it. All right, now put this on the other, on the port on cleat. The cleat. Yeah. All right. Good job. Get out here, deep water. Good. Look like he's moving any? Yeah, he's on that pretty good. There ain't no water to you get. I guess I could always heal him. I don't know what you want to do, it's still stuck pretty good. So, the only way I see this getting out of here is pulling from your mast. Take the port bridle leg and take it off and put it on your, take the port side off. Now walk that to the stern of your boat. I want to see if it's long enough. So just set it over top of that, of the cleat. And then I just need your halyard. Yeah, you're not getting this thing out here any other way. Only time I've ever seen any issues is if these cables are real slack. Those, those stays there. If they're slack, yeah. Yeah, so the reason I have this other line here, so I try to put most of the pulling on it. Yeah. This is just to heal it over to the angle I need to get it out of here. I just add dock lines as I need them. See if I got it here. Working a little skinny of water. All right, so the point of this is to heal him over the least amount as I need to. The more I lengthen my bridle line the more he's going to heal over so i got a really good control on that i think it's looking pretty good here come on girl
you go over a little more. You have to go a little more. Here she comes. and kind of walking back and forth here. There we come, going. 